I think Endless Summer is probably the greatest surf film ever made. The most watched documentary of all time. Opened my mind to the fact that the world was kind of an empty canvas. It was completely earth shattering. It is the movie. There's always the backstory, and that backstory sometimes is more intriguing than the actual story itself. It's uh, Dick Metz. Dick Metz. Dick Metz. He's the most underrated surf legend. Dick was a leader in the surfing world. He knew how to travel the world. He was curious about everything. He enjoyed people. He enjoyed girls surfing. He liked to have fun. He's party boy. He is the man. His adventures in weird and wild places was sort of legendary. The word went out. Drums are gone, and here bare-breasted girls running up the anchor chain. They had a temple where they worshiped snakes. I was living a dream, I was living a movie. We ended up in South Africa where there was a kind of rudimentary surf culture. If I had gotten out at Victoria Falls, I maybe never would have gotten to Cape St. Francis. And I told the guy to go on, I said, I gotta get out here. His adventures inspired Bruce and they inspired the endless summer. Bruce Brown had an innate feel for what was right, what was good. Bruce and I were good friends. I just said, God, Bruce, you ought to go to some of these other places, some really good surf. It would make a good story to go to Australia and Tahiti and look at South Africa. Cape St. Francis, said, there was a lot of surf in that day. That sense of adventure never ends, and I think Endless Summer captured that. There wasn't just waves in your backyard, right? There's waves all 